Hey everyone, Parth from Atlanta JDM here today looking at another one of our imports. I hope everyone is uh, staying safe and, um, you know, not getting coughed on with the coronavirus. But the show must go on. Today we are looking at a 1990 Toyota Serra, which is basically a Paseo with butterfly doors. Um, this is a super clean Paseo. It was actually purchased through our custom import plan if you are not familiar with that. Um, it is where we go get exactly what car you want as we have a team station over in Japan that makes it pretty easy for us It's a really easy process. It's uh, better explained on our website in six easy steps and This is basically the final product Like I said the customers on his way here. He didn't want to be in the video, which is perfectly fine So I'm just gonna do a quick walk around before he shows up Just gonna do a quick lap though. The paint is the original paint. It's literally like perfect it's magnificent there's no like fading there's no dings there's no dents um these two right here will probably buff out my detailer is actually uh taking care of his daughter today so i just had to kind of do a quick cleanup before customers showed up it's been branded so it's good to go biggest selling point on this car are the butterfly doors um They're freaking awesome. It's like the biggest flex when you go to the gas station too, man. Like, uh, they're freaking awesome. There's like two, I guess, boo-boos with the car. One is the passenger door. Stays up. The, uh, strut's a little weak. It will eventually go down. But, um... For the most part it is pretty strong parts for this car are a lot easier to find versus a uh the, the strut for the uh, az wing doors so much harder to find so much more expensive these are pretty reasonable and aside from that when i open the trunk i'll show you the other boo-boo it's like uh we're kind of the plastic from the seats just with age you know there's really uh you know nothing you can I mean, you can do something about it, but, uh, you know, it's just, it's inevitably going to happen with, uh, with age. You know, this car is almost 30 years old inside though is exceptionally clean. No rips, no tears, no bubbling on the dash. Um, and it's a really cool, like, uh, like inside, I don't know, man. Like it's uh, well, this is first of all, the S L S S. So that's uh, multiple speakers all over the car. The super light surround sound, I believe is what it stands for. When I open the trunk, you'll get a better look. Um, automatic because manual is very hard to find with this car. Very far and few between along with the Amlux versions. Um, the customer originally wanted that and I was like, dude, they only made 21 of those cars. So if you do find it, it's gonna be quite expensive. Uh, 57,176 kilometers, original kilometers. That is what the owner is most excited about. That is 35,000 miles. So, I mean, you can't get, you can't get as new or as reliable than a 30,000 year old Toyota, regardless of the age, or at least in my opinion, whatever. Um, you get a back seat, pretty snug. And I'll kind of just try to read some of this text back here on the, okay, so super live surround sound, or super live sound system, um, casual mode, funky mode, <laughs> and yeah, again, two more speakers. I did hook up um, my Bluetooth. Like I said, you know, that sounds good, but they're 20 something year old speakers, so you kind of get what you get, you know? Um, what else on the inside? I'm not really a big fan of the steering wheel. It's kind of goofy. The original stereo. The AC uh, does work. Compressor works. It does blow um, a little light. It's still R12. R12 is pretty expensive. And um, the owner, or the newer owner, customer, already is aware of that. I've already scheduled him to go meet with our mechanic because he actually has a couple cans of R12. And uh, he's gonna get that good ATL JDM discount. I mean, just a really freaking cool car, man. I'm gonna step back and let y'all check this out. Actually, let's do it right. 
Oh, power windows, power locks. Like, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Just, mm. So badass, man. We got cheated in the 90s, dude. That's just so cool, man. I've actually seen people do, do the uh, 1.3 um, from the Starlet swap in these. I actually saw one in Oregon for sale. And I was like, man, that's uh, that'd be pretty cool, actually. Glass tops. Oh, and the glass, the visors are actually in the trunk so back to showing you the rest of the car indirect sound position casual mode okay so now that we've uh now that we're back rick has to come yell at me about something but uh so indirect sound position casual mode um it's like i was talking about in the trunk it does have oh let me get right here see how the uh little trim behind the seats kind of coming out that's just with sun and heat and again it being 25 something years old um, and then underneath, we got more storage. Let me actually zoom out. Hold on. I don't know why I'm so... Okay. Got a pretty good amount of room there. Those are the original shades. Those are also the same thing. The, uh, not in the best condition. The, uh, sun's kind of taking a good beating on it. It's pretty spacious back here. What's this? That's your tire changing equipment. Okay, I'll fuck with that later. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. And... That's pretty much it. Is there a spare tire in here? Let's see. I can't even open that. Goodness gracious, it's like stuck down there. Yep. Okay. And... I'm trying to think of what else. All of the, unfortunately, at auction didn't have the uh, center caps, but I think the uh, customers already ordered some online. Let's go ahead and see what it sounds like. That's your little ETC reader. Oh, that was me checking out the radio. Sorry about that. And... So, like I said, 1.5 liter, it's basically a Paseo. No rust, um, that's like one of our biggest things. We always try to get cars with no rust. Sometimes some will have a little bit here and there, some that's easy to fix, but uh, for the most part, that's not what we aim for. This one's completely rust free. Um, and, I mean, you can tell just from the engine bay, like it's, it's, it's just a beautiful car all around. Asma, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Jesus. It's a vent plate. Um, the only other things that my guys in Japan did they fixed the motor mount and they fixed the temp gauge. So that's a you know perk of having a team overseas. You don't just get something you gotta deal with it. All the fluids have been changed already from Japan. We drove this one back from the port. It handled perfect. But uh, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be it for the badass Paseo Sarah. Customer should be here soon to pick up. So uh, until next time. <laughs>